Hello everyone, Namaskar, Raj Krishna this side and today we are going to solve one more problem from partial differential equation. It's a non-homogeneous partial differential equation as you can already see the powers are not same everywhere. So we have two types. If it is factorizable or of the form, this form d, if I write it here, d minus md dash Wait a minute. Yes. And if it is of the form d minus md dash minus a. If this is of this form, then it is fine. So if we can see the first one is of this form. So we can compare and say that our m is perfectly fine minus 2. Our a is 1. So for the first one, we can write complementary function because we know its complementary function is of the type of the form e power ax f if it is only one factor is there z equals to 0 or uh, something in this case it is equal to 0 then f y plus m mx simply this form so for the first one we can write but look at the second one this is not of this form neither that is factorizable because you can't resolve this into factors anymore what will we do for, so for that also we have one uh, method so our cf will obviously be cf1 that means the cf for this factor and plus the cf2 that means the cf for second factor so cf1 can easily be calculated as e power ax f of y plus mx what about cf2 cf2 so in this uh, type when it is not resolvable into factors neither it is of the form d minus md dash minus a we directly write our complementary function as summation a e power hx plus ky but this is not the complete thing where f of h comma k equals to 0 we need to find this relation from the given equation so put d as k and d dash as uh, d as k and d dash as h so you'll get uh, something like h minus 2k square minus 1 equals to 0 so now either find h in term of k or k in terms of h so it is better write h in term of k just shift the terms to the other side there you go now put this replace the h in our equation earlier by this h so it will be entirely in terms of k that's what we want a e power in place of h write 2k square plus 1 x plus k y done we have finally complete uh, found cf2 now our cf was nothing but cf1 plus cf2 what was your cf1 it was e power x f of y minus 2x cf2 is summation a e power 2k square plus 1 x plus ky this is the thing and now because we need to solve this and we know that our pi is 0 because the RHS is 0 so we can write z equals to cf plus pi so finally z equals to this only will be your final solution so y minus 2x plus summation a e power 2k square plus 1x 
and in the power only we have this ky fine enough so z equals to e power x f of y minus 2x plus summation a e power 2k square plus 1x plus ky this is your final okay fine enough so this is uh, our final answer let's review it once because i remember in the last problem which i did i in the last uh, forgot to uh, write although uh, my solution was correct up, up to some point and in the last i missed one nine because of uh, which it was uh, incorrect but later in the comments i uh, realized my mistake but uh, you must focus on the process this calculation mistake might sometime be incorrect. So if I see what I did, first factor was comparable to D minus MD dash minus A. So simply in place of minus M, you have minus two. So your M should be two. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Again, I made a mistake. So M should be plus two. Here again, plus two. Plus two plus two I hope no more mistakes and then for the second one it we have a this result which you have to know a power a e power hx plus ky and then this relation find h in terms of k put that back in equation there you get cf2 cf equals to cf1 plus cf2 and because pi is zero z equals to cf plus pi is your final answer that's how we go I hope you learned something from the video. Uh, for more such video, we can always visit my playlist on this portion that is partial differential equation for more such problems. That's it. Thanks and have a very nice day.